Hey, what's up? Welcome back. If it's your first time here, my name is Roger Sang. I do photo, video, tech, gear reviews, and hopefully some tutorials coming up soon. And today we're going to be reviewing the Godox SL150 Mark II Lite. It just came out and I'm really excited about it. It's beefy and bulky and just check that out. I love the Godox lights. I use them as my main studio lights. Um, you can't see them, but they're here. They're compact, affordable, and reliable, and they've worked well for me so far. Let's discover more about the SL150 Mark II right after this. All right, before we kind of go into the box, I've already opened it, but this came from Pergear. Pergear is a great reseller for these Godox lights that I always love getting their packages because they give you all these goodies with it. They give you the white gloves for the unboxing, give you a microfiber cloth to clean anything that you need to clean, and this is a lens cleaner. So we're gonna hang on to this right here. Like I said, this is from Pergear. They're a great reseller. All right, in the box, you get the light, you get the LED light cover and you get the power cable. It also comes with a remote, some instructions. This Bowen's mount light hood will help enhance the brightness of the light. It also comes with these awesome cool gels here. You also get this nifty cover. So what happens is you pop this on the light, you let this sit on there, and then in here, you're actually able to direct the light and also put different gel covers on them. Here's the gel covers. You get green, you get blue, and you get red. But I wanna move forward now. I wanna talk about all of the goodness of this light that we get with it. Like I said, let's review what's in the box. You get the SL150 Mark II light. You get a remote. In order to have the remote work, you need two AAA batteries. You get the lens hood, the gel covers, and this cover right here. All right, let's talk about the light right here. This thing, like I said, this thing is beefy. You pull back here and you twist and you get that lens cover off. And if you want to see the brightness of the light, let's go over a couple of the controls that are on the back. Turn it on there. See the light? This is the knob that you're going to use to control the brightness of the light. What One of the large improvements that they've made in this light as opposed to the SL150 Mark I is the fan noise. They reconstructed this machine for better airflow and for a better fan. So you can't really hear anything right now, but say the fan does get louder than you need it to be, all you need to do is tap on that button right there, and that turns off the fan. You'll see here I have the light at about 60%. If I tap on the fan, you'll notice that the light dims. So I turn off the fan, it still gives me some brightness levels, but it does dim the light to preserve that coolness in it. You turn it back on, the brightness goes back up. So you have the dimmer, you have the fan control, you have the power switch, this light can carry 16 channels in six groups, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And for the light temperature, it is 5,600 Kelvin. And let's talk about the effects. The effects are pretty cool if you need them in certain scenarios. So let's turn the brightness. All right, there are eight lighting effects that are built into this thing. We tap on effects, let's check them out. I'm gonna let you guys guess which one's which. So that's FX1, FX2, FX3, FX4, ooh, that looks like a bad bulb. Yep, FX4, FX5, anything there? Is that like lightning, I think? FX6, it's pretty cool. FX7, I think that's a TV. FX8. I'm not sure what that is. But just in case you need those effects, those are there. You'll also see here that there's a large sized LCD panel uh, with temperature control to prevent overheating. I really like this light. As you can see here, it's very, very portable. 
So all I have is the stand right here and the lights right here. But honestly, being 5600 Kelvin, that's the perfect light that I need for my needs. And the ability to turn the fan on and off, that's huge for me because sometimes you need to shoot in a very quiet environment and you don't want that humming noise. Then to have that ability to turn off the fan, I really, really like. Like I said, they have improved the airflow of this so that the light doesn't overheat too much and that you get a lot of airflow going on through the light. If you want my recommendation, I would highly recommend the Godox SL150 Mark II light. I really like this light. I like the shape of it. It does feel like it's a really high quality light and I really like that. And this thing's beefy. One thing I really like about it is you can tell that there's some strength to these knobs here. So when you, when you put on a larger and heavier Bowens mount onto this thing, you know that it's gonna hold up without tilting forward or falling down. I really, really like this quality. So let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about the light. Have you gotten one? Are you going to get one? And yeah, are you a Godox fan? I personally am. They make a really good, great product. Go check it out. I do have a link in the description. You can buy it from my friends at Per Gear. They're really awesome. They give great customer service. And that's a first look at the Godox SL150 Mark II light.